my name is Seth Kweku Bani and today I'm going to show you how to design this. Alright guys, so I just want to say this real quick. Every video that I create or I upload on YouTube, you have to check the description for the resources, both the fonts and then sometimes the PSD file or the source files that you are going to use to design your own version of the flyer I create. So just click on the link and then you'll be redirected to my blog. What happens is that anytime you click on the blog, it sends you to a different site or it redirects you to a certain place. Um, but guys, please do not stop there. When it redirects you, just stop it or close it and then click on it again. I'm sure on your third or your fourth or perhaps even the second try, you would get the site and then you download whatever you want to download now with that said let's go straight into the tutorial all right so let's go into photoshop and then Control n you're gonna have this make sure it's 1500 pixels 1500 pixels pixels here 72 pixels per inch rgb color 8 bit white now let's name it birthday flyer i hope i got in the spelling right and then click on create now if your rulers are not showing just click on ctrl r and then pull your your lines to up the appropriate place now this is going to help with our alignment to check how centered our text and our images are so once we are done with this we want to start with a rectangular tool somewhere here just drag it down like that all right let's set the color to six two zero one zero two and then click on ok duplicate it hold shift and then drag it okay now this is too far just want it to be quite close a little bit so duplicate it again and then send it there so make sure the spacings are the same then put them in a folder and then name them um, object create a new layer and then create clipping mask click on your brush tool and then hold alt click on the color to pick the color go here the color is going to show over here click on it then just choose a more deeper color or darker color increase the size of the brush and also set the brush to soft brush 100% opacity 100% flow and then click around here okay now go to your images and then pick this one into Photoshop resize it And then create clipping mask set the blending mode to multiply go back to your images and then drag it in there resize this a little bit let's flip it horizontal okay let's create clipping mask also set it to multiply But then let's bring the last image and that is this drag it there as well and then just send him down and perhaps set all these up all right so somewhere here is good now once you have it something like this you also want to make sure the line these two lines also align with his whole image and so we feel like this part has crossed it too much this part hasn't really crossed it and so let's drag the image somewhere there to make sure his body falls within those two spacing quite well and this one i think works also well for us let's put all these ones and then let's call it bg now open it again and then pick this dotted or grunchy effect ok 
key double click it and then click on color overlay set it to color white and then use the blending mode normal we're going to have something like this give it a mask click on your brush make sure the caps log is also off click on the mask here opacity 100 flow 100 and then here set to black reduce the size and basically clean around it basically clean around it now if possible set the opacity to um, 57 percent okay so now we are done with this give this image also a layer and then zoom in you want to clean her f his foot just to give it a little effect okay yes so something like this also works well nice now we are going to start with our image uh, our text so um, click somewhere here and then type happy birthday happy birthday <laughs> you're going to use Helvetica you're going to set the size to 42 and then we will set it to bold also set the um, here to 100 percent here to 100 percent the tracking to let's set it to 100 percent um, click over here to make sure it all becomes upper case and then let's set the color to color black we also want it to be sent um, center aligned then zoom in and drag it to the middle also drag it quite closer to the entire text and the, the, the objects as well sorry alright so duplicate it hold shift and then drag it down oh. click on your move tool always guys always make sure auto select is off auto select is always off Right, so let's duplicate it now you can see it over here is duplicated hold shift and then drag it down and then let's type the person's name so i'm using cristiano ronaldo so chris tiano kwame ronaldo yeah i think i think cristiano ronaldo is called kwame I don't know why but it must be Kwame you know I reserve my comment I don't know I don't want to see why <laughs> Kwame is a it's a local name for Ghanaians okay so now that we have this um, let's pick the rectangular to zoom in so that we can really work on the text well just around the size like this is good drag it down and then click on the move tool and you just move it just move it like that now click on Cristiano Ronaldo and then pick the the Kwame change it to color white also we just want to work on um, the name itself so the Cristiano Ronaldo select the, the layer we're still going to use Helvetica but we're not going to use bold we're going to use regular also we are also going to make sure that font size is reduced let's use 30 aside that everything works the same now let's resize the let's resize it all right then let's drag it together with the 
let's, let's drag it up so when you zoom in you could realize that the O falls within the the red socks let's highlight just the O and let's make it white also you could see that the A L falls within the red socks let's make it white so we're gonna have something like this and this is cool for me let's put them in a folder or a group and let's call them HBD and the name the next thing we are going to work on is the date of the person the original date for Cristiano Ronaldo is Thief, uh, is all 5 February so 5th February so let's use this February we're still using Helvetica guys and then let's set it to regular by the font size let's use 43 let's set the tracking to 100 and then um, let's click here and change the color to 16 0, 0, 0, 1 exactly like this the next thing is let's set our lines here this is just to let us know where the metal falls you can use your eyes to gauge it you don't really need to get it perfect let's drag it somewhere here duplicate the February send it up then type 05 go to the font and choose steel fish select extra bold and then the font the font size we are using 164 exactly 164 we also making sure the tracking is zero and then let's zoom in to see all right the last thing we are going to do is pick this go to polygon to set the size here the number here to three once you do that click on shift and then just if it's like this just keep rotating that force within the middle okay the the arrow needs to point down the angle needs to point down set it to color black and then reduce the size quite a bit then drag it here we want it to fall within the middle let's check yeah it falls within the middle of the whole thing so that is it let's pick it let's put it in the folder and let's call it date bring our rulers and then let's center that one as well we also want it to get quite closer to everything and let's see how it looks like and so guys um this is how you create something like this quite simple and um, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that already also hit the bell icon so that anytime i upload new videos you won't miss out on any of them also um like this video and then comment down below so that i could check them out if you have any suggestions or any concern just let me know i love you all guys see you in the next tutorial